Hey y'all, let's check out Healing Muse. Hey y'all, I'm Shy in Second Life and today we're going to be checking out Healing Muse. This is a forest mindfulness meditation themed land. I am in the shared environment and this land is TP friendly. So let's go ahead and do a quick outfit check and then we can continue. So today I just wanted to go for a cute little chill outfit. So we have gold accessories, got my little earbuds in, with my glasses and my chain. Got a little ribbed crop, you know. Got my phone and my card, cause where I'm gonna go without it along with my keys. Also got me a little drinky drink. And for the pans, just some like, multicolored pants is that what we would call these for the shoes i have on birkenstocks you can't really see them for the bell bottoms so let me do a quick pan out so this is the outfit you guys so let's go ahead and continue so you guys it feels so good to be back you know just getting back into the swing of things so this land um in the description it said it had it was like mindfulness and meditation and spirituality and things like that and i really love that that is a theme that they have here this is the second land that i have visited these yoga mats are beautiful this is the second land that i have visited that has had a like mindfulness meditation type theme to it it's always very very necessary this is a really nice chill spot um you can come and just relax here and just really get a chance to just de-stress i really love the colors here i love how everything is very neutral toned with pops of color i think that's such a smart way to decorate spaces especially when they are meant to be more like um nature-based spaces which this land definitely feels like it it has a lot of greenery and all but it also has like little separate spaces that you can go into that has different things in it for mindfulness as well as meditation so this looks like it's kind of like a little library maybe like an information center so they have a lot of different books on a lot of different things. I wonder are these teleporters? And also if you click the yoga, it'll give you note cards on the different um, options that they have. I don't know why it feels so strange right now doing this video. I. I didn't do enough at, at I didn't do enough Illustria resort videos to be feeling this way. I'm just saying. I don't know. I think just coming out of that norm of me always, you know, doing these kind of like um destination kind of is really it's destinations, but it's really like places that I want to visit that I love taking you guys along to. But it does kind of feel like not out of my element but a little out of my element if you hear a lot of bumping and thumping around that's my son my honey he's a kid and and we let him kid so that's what you hear him running up and down the stairs and things like that so this place has a really nice zen feel to it and i really really like that this is a really cozy it looks so comfortable here a um, meditation spot the cushions look so plush and comfy i love all of the little greeneries like not greeneries but all of the greenery that they have this statue is so peaceful just to look at just to be able to sit and meditate and just become one with yourself get your thoughts together kind of clear your mind if you need to do that whatever you're looking for as far as mental mindfulness and spirituality you're gonna find that here so this land does have a nice nature-based feel to it and i really really like that i like how they've incorporated outside activities as well as inside activities so this seems like a little stage area where they will maybe put on little plays or maybe presentations and things like that the way that they've incorporated the nature aspects and made everything feel so peaceful and serene at the same time i really am enjoying just walking around this land it does seem to be like this land is on multiple sims because just crossing that bridge um the shared environment did change but it's still 
just as beautiful as the one that we started with. The shared environments here are really, really breathtaking. I really, really like this. Look at the little rainbow. It's giving Aurora Borealis. I really like this color scheme. The rainbow is so pretty. It has like a earthy type vibe to it. It's not like the super vibrant rainbow colors. It's almost like a rainbow and sunset. We got the little bear. This is the only time that I would suggest getting close to a bear is when you're in second life. You know, because all they do is this. Look, and we ain't going to get on a bear. It's, it's been a big thing on TikTok. It's, it's been a big thing on TikTok. So I love all of the little water animals, the little swans and duckies and things like that. What is this? Is this a duck? Maybe it's a black swan. So this is a swan for sure. So maybe the other one was a black swan. Beautiful. I love how with this shared environment, they have like put the house, um, they've made the house like red and that goes along with the shared environment. So a lot of thoughtfulness went into this. Look at the little foxy digging up all that dirt. This is a really nice common space. So you can come here, lots of sitting space and things like that. You know we love the animals. We're gonna be looking at all the animals. Oh, my water bottle fell. So we're gonna be looking at all the animals. Very, very nice. So if you guys are new here and you haven't checked out my Illustria Resort mini series, I'm gonna put a card up so that you guys can do that. On this channel, um, I do a lot of destination videos, just taking you guys around some of the cool places that Second Life has to offer. It's really just places that I find appealing, that I want to go to, that I want you guys to come to with me. So if you guys are into that type of thing, then make sure you guys like, comment, and definitely subscribe because that's what we're going to be doing. I am, um, however, I also do vlog. I do lifestyle vlogs here and there. I haven't done them in a while. I've kind of been in my second life bag. So that'll be coming up um, eventually, eventually. I don't know. You know, I like to throw it out there so that when it pops up, nobody is like, what? I thought this was strictly second life. It's not strictly second life. It's a lot of second life, but it's not strictly second life. But it has been for a while. So this land does have a lot of twists and turns, but I can appreciate that um, for a couple of reasons. For one, when the land is a smaller land, unlike this land, um, when the land is a smaller land, I'm um, having a lot of twists and turns does make the space seem larger than it actually is. But also it gives you the opportunity to kind of run into spaces that you probably wouldn't have found if everything was so clear cut. I really like to explore in Second Life. I feel like people are getting a little bit more into exploring in Second Life and I really do like that. There was a time where people would just stand wherever they raised in at and a lot of times they would miss out on all of the beautiful things that the decorators have, all of the things that they've done to just make the spaces seem very realistic and very welcoming and warm. These juicy, juicy apples. These look like, they look like a yellow and a red. What is it called? Like a, is it a Macintosh apple? Why do I feel like that's not the right word for it? I don't know, but it looks yummy. So they have some little, a little farming area, a little garden area over here. What are, they, are these grapes? Hold on. We, I'm going to stay on task, but y'all already know me. Oh, it's a little grapevine area. How cute. So I'm not sure if they have rentals here. I don't think they do. Um, when I read, I don't remember saying anything about rentals. I'm like, we coming up on houses and stuff like that. I don't wanna be walking on nobody property. I love this little cabin, it's really nice. So then they have this little space here. It's giving like group therapy or group you know, counseling, group little meeting or something like that. Super nice. They have multiple sitting spaces out here. I love this. It's so earthy. I love a good, I love a good earthy vibe. You know, I love a good earthy vibe. The views, oh, beautiful. So if you're not into meditation and things like that, and you just want a cool space to visit and walk around, this is gonna be a nice space for you. 
um, it is walkie, but there are a lot of beautiful things to look at. It's meant to be a walkie, Sam. Um, and I really, really like that you get the option to either, look at that raccoon. I like that you get the option to either go into the spaces that they have created as far as like the little cabins and just sit and meditate, but you can also um, just be outside. And if you find a sitting space, like a bench or something like that, you can enjoy the nature. So I really like that they give you a nice, even experience. You can pick and choose how you want um, your experience here to go, um, whether it be you um, indulging in some meditation or just taking in the views, because they definitely have the views. Super nice. I love all of the animals and all the little added details. They have the little koi fish, so nice. Then they have the little cranes in the water. The decorations are beautiful. And then they have, are these butterflies? Look, this is how the cicadas are looking right now. So, you know, we gotta, we gotta check. But I think, yeah, these are butterflies. So pretty. These cicadas are crazy. I'm in Chicago and when I tell you, they are cutting up, cutting up. It's crazy. What kind of space is this? This is nice. I love all of the greenery. I love like the little plants. They got the little self sweeping broom. It's giving spiritual over here. I love this like green wall. This is super nice. I actually have this plant, this planter. What is it like? It's a vase. And then it has like plants in it, it's super cute. They come in like different yoga poses and things like that. I love these flowers and little black cat just chilling, chilling. Lots of cats around here and I do like that. I'm a cat girly. I, I love dogs too, you know, but I like cats. I love cats. If I, if I had to choose, you know, I would choose cats. I think just simply because they're a little bit more, they're a lot more low maintenance than um, a dog. Same type of responsibility, but less, you know, you don't have to do as much. You don't have to worry about walking them and things like that. They can go to the bathroom on their own. You can go on a trip and leave them. You have a little feeder. You can leave them at home. You don't have to get like a dog sitter or things like that. So yeah, this space is spiritual. And I got that feeling right away when I saw the, self, the, the sweeping broom. I was like, okay, it's giving spiritual. I'm into this stuff. If you guys are not into this stuff, you know, you don't have to come into this space. But I really love the colors in here. I love how everything is very like earthy. Are these like incense? They look like incense. I like that they have a lot of interactive features. So I see a lot of like touch me things. These are candles. They have a lot of different options where you can touch things and you can click on stuff. And I really like that. They make sure that you are constantly being engaged. So it's not just like not nice things to look at. There are also things that you can interact with. And I, I like that. I, I can appreciate both. I'm kind of used to the lands where there's mainly just, oh, selenite. I'm used to the lands where things are just more pretty than interactive. So when I find lands where this cat is going crazy, when I find lands that incorporate both the beauty and you can also interact with them, this is a really nice geo. I really feel like it makes the space that much more special because you really get more out of it just by being able to like touch on things and to see the information that they're giving you. I like that they don't make it too overwhelming, just like the other um, mindfulness place that we mindfulness retreat that we went to, where they don't make it overwhelming with the information. It's kind of like on a if you want to type basis. And I like that. So you don't have that feeling of, I, I, this is, I have to just really be on business here. It's like, no, you can kind of chill out if you want to chill out, but if you want some information on some things, then we'll have that for you as well. So this is, yeah, I, I don't mess with the Ouija board. I don't, I don't do the Ouija board. This cat is hilarious. Hilarious. The things people come up with in Second Life, I'm, I'm always being amazed. I love the smoke from this little incense. I really miss hanging out with y'all like this, you know, just 
being able to go around and look at the beautiful things in Second Life and we just checking everything out together, I really do miss that. Don't get me wrong, I enjoyed um, our vacation and things like that, but I love being able to explore these different spaces and places. You know, I appreciate it more now, um, just being away from it. it. You would think that it's been a long time. It's only been two weeks, but for me, it just, it feels like it's been much longer than that, but it hasn't been, it's only been two weeks. But I definitely missed it. And I miss just going on these little destination places with you guys. This is a place that I wanted to visit a long time ago. I don't know why. I think sometimes um, I gauge like, well, sometimes i'm late doing a video and if the land is large like this land is large i don't like to just rush and do it i want to be able to take my time and go around the land to give you guys just a real nice feel of what the land has to offer oh this feels romantic i don't know if it's if it's like the wine or just like the only two chairs but this does have a nice romantic feel to it everything looks so beautiful it looks so beautiful. So the shared environment has changed again and it is still magnificent. So this is a really nice, cozy, coupled up type space. It's the feeling that it's giving me, you know. Even if you wanna just come with like your home girl or your bro or whatever and just kinda like vibe out in the space, I feel like this is gonna be a perfect space for that. But yeah, I, I loved um, going to Illustria Resorts and being able to bring the vacation to you guys and you guys coming along with me for the ride. I just really, really enjoyed that. But it's something about, you know, being able to just go to different destinations. I think because it was four videos um, of the same place, but I really wanted to give you guys like a nice Feel. I wanted the people who weren't able to go along with us to be able to get a nice feel of what we were doing. I wanted people to have a nice feel of just the experience that we were able to share um, with each other. So I like these little mushrooms. I love mushrooms in real life, not these. Not these type of mushrooms, you know, the ones at the store. I think these are the poisonous, they were saying. So they have lots of sitting spaces. I love this little, like, teepee on a log type feel. Very cute and cozy. This is a moderate sim. I'm pretty sure I didn't mention that. So it's cool if you want to bring the kitties and stuff like that. But I feel like this space definitely gives adult um, it definitely gives like this is a space that's best suited for adults especially this space with the fire and stuff like that so they have a cute little outdoor little camping space with all of the wood and the and the fire with the raccoons and all the little tasty treats for any kind of s'more that you would like these raccoons, I love that they are all kind of just like doing their own things. And then you have this little bear in the corner. I forgot what this type of bear is called. I think it's a badger. I'm not sure, but it's super cute. Like peekaboo. I love all the flowers. Everything just feels so calming and pretty. And I just love it so much. You guys, there's still so much to see and do at Healing Muse, so definitely check this place out. The landmark for this place will be in the description box below. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video just as much as I enjoyed bringing it to you guys. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.